<laughs> the very first video of 2021 is back. I'm finally recording. I've been stalling for the whole day, but I've been kind of coming up with videos that have been that will be beneficial for everybody that is going to be watching them. On the few people, I'm very grateful if you do watch my videos. But today's video is basically how to bring a salon environment to you and how to do your hair just like you're in a salon. You all know in Ireland right now, all salons are closed, so it is quite a hard time to get your hair done, to feel relaxed, to just get that little pamper. So, what I'm gonna do for you today is to hopefully help you to bring it to your own home. So you're probably wondering why I have such frizzy hair right now. My hair is currently wet. Um, I have washed my hair already in the shower. My hair is kind of like naturally frizzy as you can see here. Just got out of, well I got out of the shower about an hour ago. And as I said, I've been stalling to make this video. So my hair is like halfway dry. So what I'm gonna do for you today is show you how to bring a salon to your home at this hard time. <laughs> Step one, have a really good shampoo and conditioner. So I've talked about this in previous videos, have a shampoo and conditioner that has no sulfate and is vegan friendly. So a shampoo brand I really, really like to use, and um, it's vegan friendly, sulfate free, is Prology. So the two Prology shampoos I'm gonna show you today, they have such a, a huge variety of shampoos and conditioners that offer for, uh, for all hair types, for curly, for dry, for, for oily scalp, they have everything. So the shampoos that they sell aren't as big as this one. This is a backwash shampoo that we use in the studio that I work in. Um, but this is a purify shampoo. So basically what purify means, it breaks down unwanted minerals that may be in your hair. So say one day that you put some product in your hair, say you put hairspray in your hair and you find it hard to get it out, you find it hard to break it down, you would use a Purify to break all the unwanted minerals down. It would be so much easier to shampoo out, so that's what Purify is for. So it says on the bottle here, zero sulfate, 100% vegan. The advice that I would give you when you're in the shower, make sure you shampoo your hair twice. And this would be like my first kind of tip that I would give you to bring salon to your home. The reason for this is that the first shampoo will break down all the unwanted minerals and then your second shampoo will put in the ingredients that you're trying to put in. So say for your first shampoo, you use a Purify to break everything down. Your second shampoo, say you use the Hydrate shampoo, that will then put all the hydration that you need. So it's basically like for a shampoo, you're getting rid of all the unwanted and you have a fresh clean layer. And then your second shampoo then will put everything back in that you need. So the tips I've went through so far is to make sure that you do two shampoos in the shower. Second advice is to make sure that you have a clean shampoo that has no sulfate and is 100% vegan. They are literally the two. Do you ever get that feeling when you come out of the salon and you're like, my hair feels so fresh? And do you ever feel like after you come out of a salon that you always get so long out of shampoo in your hair? You don't have to shampoo it for another two or three days after that. It's definitely because it is always sulfate free. I hope so in any way that you're going to a salon that is sulfate free shampoo. That means that they are really taken into consideration that they're not giving you really bad shampoo because obviously you pay for the best service that you can possibly get. And it is also no harm that if, if you are in a salon when we are allowed back in, that you ask them about the shampoo that they use, you ask them for a little bit of advice on what shampoo you they would recommend for your type of hair. Moving on to your conditioner and staying with the Prology brand, I really would recommend Prology, they are so, so good. Oh, and before I forget to tell you, Prology has this symbol on the end of their shampoo and conditioner bottles. This is how much you're supposed to squeeze out of the bottle when you're using your shampoo con and conditioner. So you definitely get a not a long duration out your shampoo and conditioner. And definitely the advice that I'd give you when you are using something that doesn't have sulfate. So basically sulfate are an ingredient that some brands put into their shampoos and conditioners to make the shampoo lather up but also stays in your hair and it's so, so hard to break down sulfates. So a non-sulfate shampoo and conditioner, well, shampoo will be really hard to lather up and lather means soot up. So what I would recommend is because you're only supposed to put this much in it, um, in your hand before shampoo, is that you would apply more water than shampoo into your hand and you're supposed to break it down in your hand and the heat between your hands will break it down and then you put it on your hair so you don't ever squeeze it onto your head and then start mushing it around that's not how it works you're supposed to squeeze it onto your hand 
and then start laddering, laddering it up and it should sit up but if it doesn't use more water so just go like that in your shower put more water on it and then I promise you it will sit up as these shampoos and conditioners aren't your cheapest kind of little and Tesco shampoos you're kind of like supermarket shampoos they're kind of normally double and sometimes triple the price that you would pay for your your little shampoos it will you will get a longevity out of these I promise you if you only use what they tell you to use that's what they're for going back to conditioners anyways as you can see my hair has been naturally drying for about an hour now and I'm kind of getting all my frizziness out I haven't brushed my hair at all this is literally just coming out of a bun ready to film and it's kind of frizzy so the one I use is um, a smoothen conditioner because I know that my hair is quite frizzy and it will help me to blow dry my hair so the smoothen ingredients that they put in the natural natural smoothen ingredients that they put in for your hair will definitely help you to blow dry if you don't want frizzy hair at the end of it all they also have a smoothen shampoo a smooth and conditioner and um, you just need to know what type of hair that you have to get the shampoo and conditioners that will benefit you the most okay so moving on from shampoos and conditioners um, I'm gonna go through the products that I use before blow drying my hair these are the products that we would particularly use as our favorites in the studio as well and starting off is one of our favorites dream co color wow so the color wow is the brand dream co is one of the products that color wow has in their range Dream Coat is basically you spray it into your hair before you blow dry it. It's activated by heat. It is a silver bottle. I hope you can see it. It's a silver bottle. The one I have today is something that you spray in your hair when your hair is wet. You spray this into your hair. It will stop frizziness. It's a heat protection spray. I need to read this from the bottle because I'll sort it if I don't. It's a humidity proofing power spray. So basically what that does in it seals down all of your cuticles before you start blow drying your hair. And when your cuticles are open, uh, this is what, so my cuticles are open right now because obviously they haven't been flattened by the heat of the hairdryer and that's why this is activated by heat as well. Literally the dream product. And the last and one of the best things about this product is a last three to four shampoos. So I'm about to put this in my hair today and then the next three shampoos I don't put it in after before blow drying my hair because it will still be in my hair to protect and to stop my hair from frizzing out it's so good so you'll definitely get your money's worth and you'll get long last longevity out of this and i promise you that and it will definitely work um you literally just pick up your hair and spritz it in i really like to spritz it around my face frame because i know that's where i have the most baby hair and that's where i'm i know i most frizz out when i blow dry my hair and i'm like oh and then it also saves you from straightening those baby hairs as they are so weak and thin you don't want to dam damage them because they are just baby hair. Another one of my favorite products is Mythical Oil by L'Oreal Professional. It's kind of personal preference if you want to put oil in the ends of your hair before blow drying. I know some people's hair is quite oily um, and you wouldn't want to put more oils in your hair and then that will kind of freak a lot of people out. I know that the ends of my hair are quite dry so putting oils into my hair and for them to be able to soak it on through it really really helps if you're here if you're on a, a hair journey and you want your hair to grow this really helps it's kind of like a jelly type substance so only one or two pumps is needed and I've had this for a long long time I and I've only used this much out of the whole bottle such a classy little bottle as well it's glass and I just love the look of it it's so pretty yeah I just put one or two pumps at the end of my hair before I start blow drying my hair um, and this will also help to smoothen out your hair also. Okay so I've been telling you about the shampoos and conditioners that we would particularly use in the studio where I work. I've also been telling you about the products that we would particularly and I would use at home as well before blow drying my hair and what I'm going to show you now is to how to blow dry your hair at home and feel like you've just professionally got a blow dried but you've done it yourself. I'm going to brush it out now and pop a dream coat in it, pop my oil, oils at the end and start smoothing it. As you can see around here is really frizzy. It's quite curly around um, my hairline but then everywhere else is really, really um, straight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop, I know it's, it's crazy that I have half curly, half straight hair, it's so weird. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put dream coat around everywhere but mostly around my hairline and then I'm gonna start blasting my hair off. So 
So what I'm going to do now is going to put two pumps of this in the palms of my hands and I'm going to run it through the ends of my hair. Know how to blast dry, you literally just start blasting with the hair dryer and then when the heavy wet is gone, then section your hair. Smoothing in this section and then start working my way, uh, way around my hair. And the advice that I can give you is to make sure that your root is dried before the ends because the root is a lot thicker than the ends. If you over dry your hair, it will start to frizz out. So make sure you start from the top and then go from the bottom. When you're blow drying your the root, the ends will catch onto the heat, so they will start to casually dry when you're doing the when you're doing the root. So I have this small section here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna from about here keep blow drying from about here and then I'm gonna do a wrap and then when I wrap it around you're gonna just smoothen it down like that Okay, I hope you've all enjoyed how to bring a salon to your home video. I hope this benefited you as much as it possibly could have. As I said, I can't recommend Prology enough. They are such a, uh, such a good brand. Room Co is one of my favorite pre-blow dry products to put in my hair. I really, really, really like it. It does what it says in the tin. It's so good, spoil the bottle. It's so good and I wouldn't recommend it enough. And then also the techniques that I use that I've been taught in the studio that I use on clients in the studio and also on my own hair when I'm blow drying it. I really hope that you have learned a lot from that. If you would like a full on how I blow dry my hair step by step, a humidity proofing spray is definitely the way to be. And then also how to actually know how to smoothen out your hair with just a hair dryer instead of having to straighten your hair is definitely another tip as well. So I hope that you have enjoyed it. Look how smooth and look how shiny my hair is. It's so good. I really hope that you've enjoyed today's video and I am so glad to be back filming and I'm so so grateful for anybody that has clicked on this video watched my video and I really hope that you benefited benefited from it happy new year to everybody and I hope you have a great day and I hope to see you in another video very soon thanks so much everybody for watching bye